Hello and welcome back to the All Streamed Up channel. Today we are going to talk about Litchi Mission Hub. They just released a new version and it now allows you to load custom waypoint maps as a KMZ onto your DJI Fly. So if you have an RC2 or an RC Pro with a big screen and not an Android phone that you can actually use the Litchi Pilot, this video is for you. This allows you to create more complex waypoint missions right on your computer, and then you can edit each waypoint on your controller after you load that KMZ. This is for drones without SDK. So the Air 3, the Air 3S, Mavic 3, Mavic 4, just look it up whether your drone has SDK support. If it does not, then this is a great method that allows you to easily work from your computer and create waypoints anywhere and then load them straight onto your controller. So let's get started. Okay guys, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to the Litchi Mission Hub. The URL is in the description and on the screen, it's hub.flylitchi.com. And you'll see a map like this. Make sure you log in and I'm just going to create a simple uh, waypoints here. So just click on the map and then we'll make a couple waypoints just like this. Just keep clicking and make your waypoints like that. And of course, you're going to want to adjust the settings for each waypoint to your liking. And I'm not going to do that right now. But once you do, just click on a waypoint and then go ahead and click on this little folder binder clipboard thing here. And you'll see the details of your mission right here. So on this little uh, hamburger menu here, you're gonna click that and you're gonna export a file. In this case, you're gonna want the KMZ for DJI Fly. So go ahead and click export on that and the file will download to your desktop. And that's all you need to do. And the next step is we're going to start using the remote controller. So go ahead and get your controller out. Okay, so now that you have your KMZ file saved to your computer, next thing you want to do is go ahead and get your controller. And we have to make a temporary waypoint that we're going to overwrite with this new file. So we're going to make a new waypoint so we don't overwrite any waypoint files that we have previously made. So hop on over into your controller and follow along. Okay, so power up your drone and your controller and tap go fly. And once you're there in the bottom left, you're gonna to wanna to bring up your map. So toggle through from your compass to your safety cameras to the map and tap on the map to bring it up full screen. Go ahead and tap on waypoints. And then all you want to do is just make a very simple waypoint like this. Tap once and then tap twice. Now you have a waypoint. So click on the little file folder there. Make sure it's saved. See, I have here um, several waypoints. Here's the most recent one I just made. Click save. Save as. Save as. Okay, well now I have three that I can overwrite. So no big deal. Okay, so that's it. Now you're done. Go ahead and get a USB to USB-C cable and plug it into your PC. Okay guys, now that we've got our KMZ file saved into our folder, here you can see I've got it in my downloads folder. Plug in your RC2 and it should appear on your PC. Uh, go ahead and just navigate in there. And then this is key, you wanna go into your internal shared storage, not the Android file system. Um, I struggled with this for a long time and simply couldn't find the waypoint folder because it's not in here, it's in here. So make sure you go into internal shared storage. Then we go into Android, data, DJI Go.v5, files, and then in here, you have your waypoint folder. Go ahead and navigate in there. If you view, view it by details, you can sort by recently modified and you'll see the date. So this is the folder that contains the waypoint we just made. 
So go in here. Here's your KMZ file. So what you need to do is click on this and copy that file name. Go over to your folder where your KMZ file is that you made on Litchi Hub. And you're going to want to rename it. So just click it, paste that in there. So I'll turn on my clipboard. Okay, paste that. Yep. All right, now we're going to, we're going to copy this. Go over here and paste it. And we're going to copy and replace. So that should be our new KMZ file in there now. And so we're going to hop back over to our RC2 to double check. Now that we've overwritten our file, we're going to go ahead and go back to our RC2. And let's just load up the map. So bring up your map. Tap on the waypoints and open your overwrite to file. And now you're going to notice. I remember where I put my waypoints was just kind of down and over here. All right, now you notice there they are. And you can double check all the settings if you want. Yeah. Move the gimbal and the altitude, etc., all that. So that's it. There you go. You've got your new waypoint saved on your RC2. So that's it. There you have it. A very easy way to load custom CAMZ waypoint files onto your DJI RC2 or RC Pro. So you can use the Litchi Hub to create your mission, load it onto your controller, and fly a really advanced uh waypoints without having to do it on the controller. You can do it at your computer at home. Super easy, guys. Just practice making sure you get the right folder, copy in that file name, and get out there and test your waypoints and have fun flying.